Good morning, Destiverse. Pull up a lounger and relax as I take you on a journey through the 51st version of your location and recommendations. It's hard to believe that it's been almost a year we've been making this video and you guys still stop by to watch it, which I have to say thank you very much. I appreciate every view that I get. I have to say that when I logged in this morning, I did notice a few changes. Obviously, Rise of Iron now comes up on the uh, incoming screen. Um, the music is different as you're sitting waiting to load up the director. And as I pop up my inventory and my character, it's a little bit different. Uh, inventory is a little bit different. It's got an ornament layout. Uh, settings are all pretty well the same. However, this page really aggravates me. Now, I like the layout, uh, it's pretty neat. I still think they put a lot of em emphasis on the quests here in the middle. Uh, record books are pretty cool. Obviously the Rise of Iron year three being the biggest one. It's still locked, but it won't be for long. Um, and then you've got your SRL and your Moments of Triumph, which is pretty cool. But as you can see down here, I've had a bunch of bounties saved up uh, for the last couple of weeks, which included my Iron Banner bounties, and they have somehow disappeared, which means my whole plan for my legendary marks and power leveling my Warlock to make a day one uh, raid release attempt um, has been a little bit kiboshed. <laughs> to say the least um, but anyway they'll find a way around it just means a little bit more work instead of uh, a little bit more cheese to get there and it seems like Jure has taken up residence over here for now so here he is good morning Jure this is the nine this is the nine he says well good morning Looks like another bunch of helmets, same as last week. All right, we have an uninsurmountable un skull fort. Brain Vault, Sigma, Actuum, Nine, Cranial Dreadnought, Invincible Type. Uh, you gain an additional melee charge, um, but the exotic perk on this is also... Oh, no, that's it. Yeah, oh, I thought this was the one that you, you got unstoppable. Nope, okay. So kills with Stormfist immediately trigger health regeneration, respawn with full melee energy, gain a sec second melee charge. Uh, that's useless, especially for T-Rex arms. ATS-8 Arachnid for the Hunter. Advanced Tactical Sensorium. Induced hallucinations. Integrate broad spectrum targeting data. Uh, your golden gun lasts longer and it zooms in further when aimed. Apotheosis Veil. Most helmets protect the mind from the universe, not this one. Immediate health, melee, and grenade regeneration on activating your super. Okay, another useless helmet. Uh, bad Juju. If you believe your weapon wants to, to end all existence, then so it will. Toll in the Shattered. Um, after each weapon kill, this uh, it reloads itself, and then... Oh, it has increased damage for a short time, and it helps charge your super. So if you're like Glimmer Farming uh, with uh, Voidwalker Warlock, this is like an incredible weapon to have. This, Obsidian Mind, go to town. It's uh, Noble Bomb all day long. And then, of course, you've got uh, your Legacy Ang Engrams. that are your gauntlets this week. And you got your Glass Needles, your Three of Coins, Heavy Ammo Synths. Red goo for your sparrow, green goo for your sparrow, and your modes of light. Now, um, a lot of my clanmates have been purchasing thousands of these. Um, so, for uh, upgrading your uh, factions, and here we go. We're going to do the same. I'm not going to make you watch me purchase a whole bunch of these, but I am going to. Um, I've got over 1,500 strange coins, so I'll probably buy. 1500 heavy ammo synths, which will uh, use the, these 500 that I have on this character. And that's going to help me to bring my faction along uh, to help me 
upgrade my light level on my character for Rise of Iron, which is going to be more important now than ever because I lost those 75 marks on each character, which is not going to let me buy all the vendor gear that I wanted to buy. Anyways, regardless of that, I got some glimmer farming to do. I got a few marks to make up. And, uh... Zhur literally has nothing worth buying. Except for this kind of stuff. Some three coins, some heavy ammo synths. And that should uh, help you progress your way along to Rise of Iron. Good luck in collecting anything that you don't have already. And we'll catch you next week with the one year anniversary of the recording and uh, one week closer to Rise of Iron. Have a great Destiny weekend, everyone.